Dave Anderson. Much needed rain came across the region here today, more so for the Twin Ports than any other town, but every little bit will help right now. Years ago when I was uh, the wildlife interviewer, the wildlife reporter here, I got to talk to the DNR wildland firefighting folks and they said they need about a quarter of an inch from a rainfall to make a dent in the fire danger. Well, we beat that by two here in the Twin Ports with 0.48 inches. Like I mentioned, the rest of our area undercut that by a little bit, but another round of rain coming by tomorrow night may help solve the deficit and hopefully we'll shake off that problem. So a half inch of rain roughly for Duluth here today is now leading to some fog, especially closer to the lake. Current temp at the airport in Duluth, it is 52 degrees and the sky, it's mostly cloudy. Winds southeasterly 11 miles per hour and our relative humidity 71%. The higher the relative humidity, the lower the fire danger. So that's doing a good thing for us as well. Today, just like the last several days, it's nice inland. Look at Grand Rapids right now at 66 with sunshine. 61 Ely, 70 Moose Lake, crack the 70 degree mark. Close to that in Hayward and uh, on the cooler side in Ironwood at 48 and it's only 52 by the lake here in the Twin Ports and only 43 towards Silver Bay and Grand Marais. So cooler by the lake today and it will be again tomorrow with 60s inland and 40s right by Lake Superior. Doppler map right now. The rain system from this morning is already moving off to the east and exiting our region. And now higher pressure is settling in to clear up the sky tonight and through tomorrow morning. But you see clouds on our western horizon. That's another trough of low pressure from over towards Montana that should be with us by tomorrow afternoon. It brings back a 60% chance for rain in Minnesota, 70% chance for Wisconsin and the UP. And by the time it gets out of here, well, probably on Wednesday or so, well, it looks like we're getting not that much in Minnesota. But bigger totals could be coming across for Wisconsin and Michigan. Again, that game of catch-up we were talking about where Hayward with another quarter inch on top of what we received today should help indeed knock down that wildland fire danger out there. Now, temperatures this week are going to be pretty decent. Looks like spring is finally here. Overnight tonight in Minnesota, the low temps run 35 inland to maybe 40 degrees towards Aiken. In Wisconsin and Michigan, mid to upper 30s for the low temps there. Partly cloudy sky and a light and variable wind for everybody. Tomorrow, Wisconsin, Michigan temperatures could be as cool as 45 in Superior to as warm as 67 down towards Cable and Hayward and uh, places like that. Now, 70% chance there for the afternoon rain. It's a 60% shot in Minnesota with lakeside temps in the 40s. Inland highs anywhere from 50 to even 60 degrees. Warmer to the north for a change here. Now, extended forecast. Uh, rain chance Tuesday winds down to some showers on Wednesday, 47 by the lake Tuesday, goes towards 63 by Thursday, and then the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 60 to 65 degrees, even in the Twin Ports, with sunshine, Kristen. Sound.